Welcome to Engineering Visualization Channel. Today we are going to construct hyperbola by eccentricity method. So draw a hyperbola when the distance of its focus from its directrix is 50 mm and eccentricity is 3 by 2. Okay, eccentricity they have given. Okay, what is directrix uh, we are going to see here. So here uh, we draw one line okay, and we mark v C V F okay it is nothing but the distance from the uh, curve or the hyperbola okay uh, that's we called as a focus and c point we called as a directrix okay when we are drawing a hyperbola right so it will be at a certain distance okay as it is given in the question okay 50 mm from the focus point okay so that is what uh, shown in the diagram okay and eccentricity given here it is 3 by 2 okay 3 by 2 if it is 3 by 2 means it is nothing but greater than 1 so greater than 1 means it is hyperbola okay so you can see as we have shown in a simple diagram okay the representation of it okay the it is nothing but the c point uh, the vertical distance what it is shown it is nothing but directrix and the curve drawn it is nothing but hyperbola okay so in between that we have to draw the things here okay vf having a uh, three parts we see two parts okay first i'll be drawing one horizontal line at certain distance okay and exactly perpendicular to this i'll be drawing the directrix okay i'll be mentioning this as a b and this is your c point now here uh, in the diagram we have to take 50 mm okay in the directrix and the focal point so i'll be dividing this line by five uh, five parts so each box will be of 10 mm so 1 cm it will be divided 50 mm means 5 cm ok so it has been uh, divided and now we are marking a point you can see vf by vc it is divided by 3 parts by 2 parts ok so you can mention this is a focus point and this is your v point where we exactly draw the hyperbola ok so vf it should be uh, sorry 3 parts and uh, vc should be two parts okay so it has been named according to it and now at the point of v okay we will be drawing one vertical line at some distance okay okay now you take the compass measure the distance of vf and draw an arc till cutting the smaller vertical line so cut the arc So touching this uh, vertical point, just draw an arc. So, so here at this point, we have to draw a line connecting the directrix. Okay, we should draw one random straight line passing through this point with the help of the scale. Draw a straight line. Okay, now you can see it is VF having three parts. I'll be extending by another one part okay it is uh, three parts right so i'll be extending another one part means one mm so vf having 30 mm means three it is uh, three centimeter so we'll be dividing it by four parts so i'll be marking it so one two three so we've already divided so marking it is easy one two three four we have done now where exactly it has cut it right we will be drawing vertical lines okay draw the vertical lines touching this angle line okay so at the point number one also you draw a vertical line at point number two also you draw the vertical line and at the point three also you have to draw one vertical line and at point number four also you need to draw the vertical line okay so now after this uh, we have to take the so this is your point 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash ok now measure the compass, take the compass and measure the length from 1 to 1 dash using compass measure it and keeping at the point F focus point cut the arc on this 1 1 dash line ok above and below you need to cut it so later I will extend that line ok again measure the length from 2 to 2 dash keep at the point of focal f point 
cut dark on this vertical line of 2 2 dash okay now measure uh, so it is exactly cutting uh, the at exactly at the 3 dash you can men cut the arc there only okay now measure the length from 4 to 4 dash okay cut the arc from f point above and below okay now we have to mention the namings here so the exactly cut points we mentioning p1 p1 dash p2 p2 dash p3 p3 dash p4 p4 dash okay now we have to connect all these points with the curve here okay initially i'll be connecting all these points uh, with a pencil later on i'll be connecting with the sketch okay so connect all these points with the curve here so try to join with the curve here so connect all these points with the curve Okay, you can subscribe to my channel, hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited. So now it has been connected with a curve here. Now we will be connecting the same with a sketch pen here so that uh, visibility can be improved here. So connect all this with a sketch pen. So here for uh, showing purpose, I am and doing with the sketch pen as you are solving the problem you try to do it in using the pencil only so connect all the points with a smooth curve okay so hyperbola it is uh, completed by eccentricity method now we have to draw the tangent and the normal Okay, as for from the problem, draw a tangent and normal to the hyperbola at a point 25 mm from the directrix. So, from the directrix, we have to measure a distance of 25 mm, that is 2.5 centimeter, and we have to move the scale vertically upward. And we have to see where exactly this point merge with that uh, hyperbola, and we have to mark that point. Okay, we have to mark this point. mark this point okay so you can mark this point as e okay now connect e point and that uh, f focus point with a straight line okay connect it okay now to that uh, focus point here we have to draw one perpendicular line okay perpendicular line so take the protractor and draw one perpendicular line here okay mark a perpendicular 90 degree point and draw the line till it touches the this directrix okay so this is nothing but your t point now we have to connect this t point with the e point draw a straight line passing through that so this is nothing but your tangent okay tangent so we will be mentioning t t dash okay perpendicular to this t t dash so we have to draw one line that is nothing but your normal line okay so i'll be placing the protractor at the e point and making this t t dash uh, merging with 180 degree 0 so exactly tt dash i'll be drawing one 90 degree point and drawing a line so that the normal line can be drawn here so so draw a line passing through it exactly perpendicular to the tangent this is nothing but n n dash okay 
so thank you all thank you for watching the video subscribe to my channel hit on the bell icon and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited thank you all thank you for watching welcome to engineering visualization channel so today we are going to problem on parabola draw a parabola when the distance between its focus and directories is 50 mm also draw a tangent and normal 0.70 mm from the directories so first i am drawing an axis okay in the parabola and this is a fixed point f focal point and this is v perpendicular to the axis we are drawing the directories so okay this is the directrix f is the focus and this is our parabola so in the parabola so here the distance given between directories and focus it is 50 mm okay so in parabola e is equal to 1 okay eccentricity is 1 so eccentricity is 1 means so vf by vc so is equal to 1 so vf exactly equal to vc okay this is what we get having the same equivalence vf and vc will be having same length that is 25 25 mm only okay now first we will be drawing one horizontal line of any length okay so perpendicular to it draw one line or vertical line so this vertical line we called as a directrix i'll be writing a b and this is c point okay now we have to take a distance of 50 mm okay directrix the distance of focus and and the directrix it is 50 mm so so draw you have to mark here 50 mm means 5 centimeter so this is our f point okay I'll, now i'll divide this uh, into five parts uh, exactly at the midpoint midpoint means two and a half 25 mm or 2.5 centimeter mark the v point okay now at the v point so i'll show the dimension first dimension of 50 mm okay now at the point v draw one vertical line some length okay now take compass measure the length of vf and draw an arc until it cut that small vertical line measure the length of vf and draw an arc until it cuts the small vertical line now connect c and that cut it point so draw one line passing through that okay now from the point v we'll be we'll be making the some four equal parts okay four equal parts so take some distance from the compass and cut four arcs here okay so now where we have cut the arc points we can name it one two three four now at the one two three four so we have to draw the vertical lines until it touch that uh, line and vertically downward also draw the same thing okay now you can mention this as one dash two dash three dash and four dash now we have to measure the distance of one and one dash first measure the distance of one and one dash okay now keep at the focal point focus point and cut the arc on that above and below similarly from f2 to it is exactly the same length so we'll be cutting above and below here because f point lies the same now from 3 to 3 dash measure it keep at the f point 
and cut an arc above and below. Okay, again measure 4, 4 dash. Okay, keep at the point F. You have to keep at the point F and cut an arc above and below. Okay. Now we have cut it the we got the cut points here. Now we have to join all, the, all these points to get the parabola here. So try to connect with the smooth curve here. Don't draw the straight line. Okay. Okay, so parabola it is uh, constructed. You can mention the naming here P dash P1 and P1 dash P2 dash and P2 dash. Okay, P3 P3 dash P4 and P4 dash. Okay, now we have to construct the tangent and the normal as per the question. Okay, you can see the question draw a tangent and normal at a point 70 mm from the directrix. So, what we have to do? So, take the scale roller scale. So, take 70 mm that is 7 centimeter and vertically move upward like this. Okay, exactly where it is uh, touching the parabola, just mark a point. So that point you can mention that as a E here. You can show the dis uh, distance, okay, 70 mm. Okay, now connect F point, F point, F and E with the straight line. Okay, now exactly perpendicular to this, we have to draw one mark 90 degree. Okay. And draw a line exactly touching the directrix. Okay. So, from this directrix, uh, the intersection point to the E point, here we will be drawing the tangent okay this is our tangent we'll mention t t dash exactly perpendicular to it so we will be drawing the normal here you can subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to maximum students so that they can be benefited now mark 90 degree point either upward or downward you can mark and draw one line okay if the space is not there you can mark it downward only no problem So now draw one exactly perpendicular line. So this normal will be exactly 90 degree to the tangent here. Thank you all. Thank you for watching the video.